Now let's stay with Pakistan. In August 2021, when the Taliban returned to Kabul and established itself as a governing authority, scores of Afghans who worked for the U.S. fled the country. Some of them were taken in by Western nations, but most of them were resettled in Pakistan with the promise that their applications for a new life in the United States will be processed soon. It's been two years and most of them are still waiting for the U.S. to fulfill its promise. What's worse, a number of them are now forcibly being deported back to Pakistan. Yes. Islamabad is sending back hundreds of Afghan refugees to face the Taliban repression. Let me remind you, these are the same people who supported the United States in its campaign against the Taliban. And they're now being left at the Afghan border by the police to find a way back. This begs the question, how many Afghan refugees are there in Pakistan? According to reports, there are apparently 250,000 Afghan asylum seekers who have arrived in Pakistan since August of 2021. And how many of them have been sent back? Well, in January, a report said that 600 Afghans were deported in just 72 hours. The latest report, however, says that since then, more than 530 more Afghans have been deported back from Pakistan. This is according to a volunteer group called the Afghanistan Immigrants Refugees Council. They have released this figure based on their study of local records, but they maintain that this may be a low estimate, as many Afghans were deported without any documentation. What if they refuse to go? Then they're targeted by the state. Reports say that the Afghans waiting in Pakistan have been facing harassment by Pakistani police. This includes arbitrary arrests and demands for money. Look at this report now. It says that last summer, nearly 1,400 Afghans, including 129 women and 178 children, were detained in Karachi and Hyderabad. This was the largest number of arrests made to date in Pakistan. God knows how many more have been put behind bars since then. Look at this report now. It came out in December of 2022. It showed a picture of children standing behind bars at a jail in Pakistan's Sindh province. Reports say that there were at least 178 of them. Yes, Pakistan put 178 Afghan children behind bars. And when questioned about this, do you know what Pakistani authorities said? Let me quote the response of Sindh's Information Minister, Sharjil Memon. He said, The law states that if any child is under the age of seven years, they may be allowed to stay with their mother in jail. So where will the children go when their father is also in jail? These children were kept as inmates and not as prisoners. Why not send the children to a care centre? Why keep them inside the same rotten jails? The excuse provided by Pakistan truly defied logic and morality. But the bigger question is, can it really subject Afghan refugees to such cruelties? Well, Pakistan has not adopted the UN Refugee Convention of 1951. What's that? Well, it's a convention which confers a legal duty on countries to protect people fleeing from serious harm. It formalized the rights of refugees under international law. A total of 149 countries have signed up to this law. Pakistan, however, is not one of them. This gives Islamabad an excuse to do whatever it wants with the refugees. But the biggest culprit here is the United States of America. It was the U.S. which promised these refugees a new life. It was the U.S. which lured them into leaving their land. Where is Washington now? Will it answer for the cruelties that Pakistan is subjecting these refugees to? This is a question that the people of America must ask their leaders. We on World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.